Hi, everybody. I am so happy to be here today with my dear friend, Angela Mealy, who's been traveling the world. <laughs> and uh, she's home, so I get this rare opportunity to talk to her and interview and share her with you today. Angela does sound healing and vibrational healing and <laughs> She's a light worker, and she does light-infused, amazing light-infused jewelry. I really encourage you to check out her. I will have everything listed below, her YouTube channel, her website, everywhere you can find her and connect with her. Hello. Hi. It's nice to be here. I'm Thank so you. excited. Me too. <laughs> Angela Me too. and I have been really good friends for a long time, and journeying together and growing together and... Yes, yeah. absolutely. It's been a really exciting path that we've shared. Yes. So the way I do these interviews is I close my eyes and I tune in with my conscious self, my higher consciousness self, and I have that uh, self do the interview. So that's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to close my eyes. Okay. And <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. Ready? So Angela, we're here today with you as a divine vibration of grace, as a divine vibration of truth, as a divine vibration of consciousness. You are the energy of consciousness, grace, truth, abundance, right? Mm -hmm. How is your abundance factor lately? How are we dealing with the abundance lately? Is it coming in to you? Is it receiving you? Is it giving to you? It is coming in. It is coming in. I was aware of that today. I was actually thinking about that today and, and honoring and knowing that I need to um, claim what I want. So I was claiming that prosperity today mm. and seeing where it's been coming in. And it's been coming in. It's there. It's there when I, whatever I need shows up. And just, I'm not focused on it as much anymore. So, so that's an interesting way to look at it, isn't it? That we don't have to have things stored up. That we just know that when we need something, it's there. And it's available for us to do what we need to do when we need to do it. Is that true? Yes, that is true. It's trusting. It's trusting mm -hmm. the present moment and knowing that it's there. And that's really been my journey lately is trusting that with very little reserve so people could see that that can be done mm -hmm. in that manner. And it's just all about trusting the flow. Mm -hmm. Can you give us some examples in your life of how that has <laughs> proceeded? <laughs> yeah, I can. My most recent trip to Europe, um, I decided to trust in the magic um, of the flow, knowing that I want to... Um, perpetuate the fifth dimensional new earth and to do that I needed to accept magic in my life so as soon as I did that I realized that um, I was being drawn to go to Ireland mm -hmm. and at the time I had very little money and I thought I don't know how this is going to happen but I feel drawn so I'm just telling people that I'm going to go to Ireland I just started telling people I was going to Ireland told me I told you <laughs> <laughs> I did and then I was gifted a plane ticket. And I, that was the magic. It was totally out of the blue. I didn't ask for it. I just, someone just said, you know, what do you want to do? And offered me the plane ticket. And I said, okay, that's the magic. That was the piece. So that was kind of the, you know, the proof that I was trusting in the magic. And um, I was able to raise some money by selling some jewelry. And I just, I went, I went, I had a place to stay. I was there for two months. Mm -hmm. um, I went on to France and did a house sit in France and spent a week in St. Baum. Um, so I spent three months over there with less than $2,000 for the whole three months. Mm -hmm. And the so, house sit just came up kind of magically? The as house well. sit came up magically, yes. <clears throat> I, I joined Trusted House Sitters and I just kept checking and then finally I stopped checking while I was in Ireland. And I trusted my, my, soul to guide me and say okay you tell me when I should be looking for a house set mm -hmm. so I, I got the feeling to do it and I checked and someone had just relisted their house because they lost their house sitter and I got the 30-day house set in France <laughs> just like that 
And so the magic and the miracles just keep continuing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So your life seems to be about magic and miracles because the way we're witnessing your life, it seems that your life is abundantly provided for you in every way that you could conceive of it. Is it true? Yes, that is true. Yeah. Yes. So what is on the plate now? Where are you going? How are you aspecting your consciousness into your life at this point in time? So now I, I feel like this month was um, December um, to be here in Pennsylvania with my family and, and just to be present with that. And the feeling is, is that I'm going to be here through January, mm -hmm. but I don't really know what's coming up after that. Mm -hmm. So, And that's part of this journey is just trusting what's coming up when it comes up. Um, when I was in France, it was only two days, three days before I left that I knew I was actually leaving France. And what brought up that, that <coughs> sudden departure? Um, after I visited the cave, Mary Magdalene's cave, uh, as soon as I was done with that and returned to my apartment, I realized that I was done. So, and that was two, I had three more days Mm -hmm. there so then I made quickly made the arrangements to come back home so the energy was concluded at that point yes yeah whatever I needed to do was done um I just trust the flow of energy I don't really always know why I'm somewhere and what I'm doing there but I know that something's happening by myself being present in mm -hmm. a spot so I just trusted it and I knew that I was done and it was complete and it was time to come back yeah so can you tell us about the Mary Magdalene experience for you and how you connect with her and what the grace is that's coming through you as Mary Magdalene at this time? Because we feel that you're really carrying that energy with you and there's a grace involved. And maybe the people who are watching this today can receive that grace of Mary Magdalene through you. Do you share your experience? Yes. Um, I feel very connected to Mary Magdalene um, and, and all of the... I, I, I see it as a stream of uh, blue light that the Blessed Mother and Mary Magdalene and these women um, of light, light bearers that have, are, attack, are attached in this stream. And I just feel that's the stream I'm in and I'm carrying on the work. Mm -hmm. um, so I spent a week at the cathedral, at Mary Magdalene's cathedral. Which is where? In St. Baum, St. Maxim, mm -hmm. France. This little village, it's so cute. It's just, it's just a little village with all these, you know, typical French village, small houses, and then there's this big, huge cathedral. Mm -hmm. It was built in the 12, 1200, 1285 or something like that, and they're restoring it right now. Um, so is most of the town <coughs> devotees of Mary Magdalene? You know, I really don't know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. I... I was so drawn within while I was there that mm -hmm. I I just spent a couple of hours walking around town and mm -hmm. then I um I I spent a lot of time in the cathedral. Mm -hmm. I would just go in the cathedral and walk around and sit and just meditate, do my meditation, and then I would go get something to eat and and then I would come back later and do it again. Mm -hmm. So every day I spent, you know, two two three hours in the cathedral. Mm -hmm. Um not really knowing, you know, what I was doing or why, you know, because it it was very patriarchal, too. Mm -hmm. There were a lot, there was a lot about it that you could see was done over by the church and wasn't quite so honoring of Mary Magdalene as I would want it to be. Right. Um, but I expected that, so it didn't, it didn't affect me in any way. Um, I just knew I was supposed to be there. And I don't really know what was happening, but I was trusting and I felt their presence with me and I felt you know whether I was being activated or whether I was activating the site I really don't know I just know that something was happening right. and I was meant to be there and it and maybe I was helping to um, bring in um, a stronger sense of the Magdalene energy again for the people that are coming now um, but I know I received too and I know that every every place I go I receive and give. So we're feeling like you're carrying a very strong Mary Magdalene energy at this point in time. And you came into this life as a Catholic, right? So yes. you must have been identified with that energy already. Yes. With that kind of Christ consciousness energy, but in the feminine. So are you feeling like this has been amplified through this trip? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I do feel like um, I'm bringing it back here. 
and bring I've brought it back here for others. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't have a, a, like a sense of exactly what's going on, mm -hmm. I just know that I've brought it back. Um, and it's, uh, there's another uh, woman that um, an older woman who works with the Ascended Masters, and she tells me I've done tremendous work with the Magdalene energy. So she sees mm -hmm. whatever she sees, she sees, mm -hmm. but it just kind of confirms that there was a purpose to all that. Yeah, because we're feeling a very strong Magdalene presence with you, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. the Mary Magdalene presence and the goddess energy and the divine feminine energy is coming through strong. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I feel that's what I'm here on this earth to share is the divine feminine energy and to help mm -hmm. to raise the divine feminine energy in people to, right. to bring the balance about right. of the divine man, divine feminine. Yeah. So in your aspect of grace at this moment in time, do you feel there is a divine masculine, divine feminine energy coming together on this planet? Is there a way for the, the, the release of the old and the bringing in of the new? Do you feel that that's happening? Yes, I do. I absolutely do. I feel like we're just now starting to bring up the divine masculine. Um, a lot of the work for the last couple of years has been to bring in the divine feminine. And we're still doing that. We're still doing that. But I feel like the balance is starting starting to come because the divine male or masculine is starting to, to come up just now, I think, just now starting. Mm -hmm. And what do you feel your role is in that, that play of divine, divine masculine, divine feminine this time? Are you bringing the masculine into play? I, I think I'm bringing in the masculine into play within my own being, and I'm holding balance of that um, or working towards that balance of that. Um, but I still feel my role is to bring in the divine feminine for other people. Mm -hmm. But I'm feeling a strong sense of a connection between you and a male energy. So maybe at some point you'll be bringing that together in a way. Yes. Does it feel right? Yeah, that does feel right. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about your sound healing. Where did that evolve from? Where is it going? And what is the light energy infused with that? Because you, <laughs> you have a, sound, a couple sound healings coming up this month. I do. I do. I now call them sound um, journey meditations now mm -hmm. because it just feels like a journey into your heart chakra. Um, but it all started um, here with you. <laughs> <laughs> you opened me up to Kirtan, and I decided it just feels so good to be in in that space of mm -hmm. singing in the Kirtan. And I would never sing. I would never use my voice. And I just started uh, using my voice around that time because I wanted to let go of that fear. Yes. And um, since we were you were playing loudly and there were other people singing, I could just <laughs> sing. <laughs> That's the beauty of Kirtan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I got over it. <laughs> yeah. We actually have some videos yes. on my YouTube channel yes. with Angela because she played with us quite a lot, played her bowls and sang yeah. a few years, I don't know how many years ago. That was, uh, well, 2008 five, five was ago. probably when I bought my first crystal bowl, mm -hmm. and, and I brought it along to Kirtan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so it was fun. Yeah. And we have some video proof of it. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> And then it was a session with you that finally stirred me into the idea of actually doing this by myself, mm -hmm. not just coming to Kirtan and, and being a part of what you were doing, but do it in my way. And I would, I've never given that a thought until you and I did that session. And, um, you know, Ma's pretty good at directing, directing us into our path. So I just hurried up and invited friends over to my house. And <laughs> I, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> like within three days, I was trying not to let myself go into the fear mode. <laughs> and I just said, well, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? And I had just been encouraged to buy a drum that mm -hmm. summer, mm -hmm. a few months before that, which I have no, I didn't know why and didn't right. know how to use. And um, so I had everyone come over, and I just kind of went, okay, well, where do I start? And I just had the feeling of starting with the drum. And then using the two bowls and then starting to use my voice and just doing toning with my voice. And, you know, the format's the same. It hasn't changed. I always start mm -hmm. with a drum. I mm -hmm. move into the bowls and the voice comes in wherever. Mm -hmm. And it's the same format. And it's, it's been wonderful. So, so <coughs> some of the reactions you've had from your sound healing. I know you've had amazing responses from people. Can you tell us some of the reactions you've had? I've had a few people tell me that, um, more than one, which is interesting, is that they, they had lost hearing, mm -hmm. and they, they could hear. Mm. They would, could hear a noise, at least, in their ear. Um, 
people go on journeys and they see, they actually see the music. They see the sound. Mm. They see it in colors and they see it moving, moving through. Um, other people explain that, you know, they really open up their heart and they've never felt so much love in their life and peace. And, yeah. and that's usually what it is. But I also know that um, I feel that I'm giving them an opportunity to feel the bliss of their connection with their own divine soul. And once they get, go there, once they have that experience, they want to come back. Right, of and course. And they find a way and they start being able to come back. And whether it's through meditate, their own meditation or other sound healings or whatever they do, but they start to find their way to their own soul. Yes. So that's the purpose of what we're doing. <laughs> that's the purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Bring everybody back to their conscious self. Yes, 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 conscious awareness. And you had some memories at one point of past lives of doing this work as well. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. The jewelry, too. The jewelry mm. came in that way. Um, all the things I thought I'd never do in this life, I'm doing right now. Mm hmm so that's using my voice, singing, music. I never took any music lessons ever. I never would sing. Um, I didn't like to be in the public eye. I didn't like attention. I like <laughs> right. to be in the background. And here I am. <laughs> I faced all my fears. <laughs> and I'm doing all of those things. <laughs> so that's a wonderful example for people. Yes. You went through it. You pushed through it. I did. Because I talk to a lot of people these days, and they're scared. They're like, I know I'm supposed to do this work. I know I'm supposed to be doing, you know, I know I'm a light worker, but... I can't put myself out there, you know, yes. for whatever reason. People are afraid to put themselves out there. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, the next step came in um, Ireland. There was a point where I realized I needed to talk more about what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And I did the first video, <clears throat> my first video vlog or blog. Right. <laughs> of the little journey that we did, the one-week journey that we did. So we'll put a link up to Angela's. YouTube page, and you can watch her vlogs of her, her journeys. Yeah, yeah. So the point is, is to share the journey so that other people mm -hmm. can overcome their fears. Yes. And, and know that we're all doing that. We're not just these people um, providing our, our service, you know, whatever that is. When we're in the flow and we look so magical, we're still human. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're still yes, going through everything human. everybody else is going through. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, that's what my teacher said a couple of weeks ago. He said, uh, if Jesus lived next door to you and he was your neighbor, do you think he would be any different than you? <laughs> like, no. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> so as we journey onward and we trust this path, right, and we know what we're doing and we're feeling the faith within us growing because we see that it's providing for us and we know that things are accessing us more and more deeply. What do you feel your consciousness is wanting to speak at this at this time? You know, if you were speaking to the world and you're telling your truth, what is it that you're speaking at this time? What is it that you're saying? I'm claiming my my mastery in life that mm. I'm a master at this point. And I actually just did that publicly at my last sound session mm -hmm. and and I felt guided in meditation before I went to that session that I needed to claim that, mm. that I am a sovereign master of my being. And that just means I'm master of myself, not over anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm not anyone's teacher. I'm just a guide, a facilitator. I'm just an example. Um, but I do claim my mastery. And I have to, I remind myself that I, I'm, in the process of reminding myself that I am that. I'm already that. I'm. We all are. We all are. We just need to accept that. Yeah. And do you feel that that's taking you on a different journey or a different path since you've claimed that within yourself, since you've realized that? Yes, yes. I feel like there's new things on the horizon, just not quite sure what they are. Mm. So we're excited to hear. Yes. Yes. It might have to be a long distance interview. It might have to be. <laughs> it might have to be. So tell us about everywhere we can find you, everything you're doing. People are interested in finding you, working with you. How would we do that? Where are you? What are you doing? Okay. I I'm, I'm, have a website, <coughs> amsoulactivation.com, and the YouTube channel. And you can find me on Facebook. 
Um, and you're selling your jewelry. Am I selling my jewelry on Etsy? On Etsy. Okay. Etsy.com, light infused jewelry. We'll put all the links on. Gorgeous so jewelry. Me. This is hers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your earrings? Are your earrings? earrings yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm journeying. I'm. I don't have a place to live, so I'm traveling around, and I'm actually. 20. So, are you open to suggestions from people or invitations? Yes, okay. I'm open to invitations to come wherever. Okay. <laughs> to offer what I do, I do private sound sessions and and the group sessions as well. And I'm also thinking of starting to do Skype sessions oh, good. online. So Great. that's that's kind of like, feels like it's bubbling up within me right now. Mm-hmm. Um, There'll be information about that on your website? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes. So any, and any questions, comments? Oh, I have a CD. I forgot the yes. CD. She does have a wonderful CD. Yes. Many healers are um, using it. In their practices, mm. on a regular basis, even they're not even. Why don't like, you tell us a little bit how, about how that evolved, your CD, oh, and the process was, of making that? That was another fear moment. You know, here I am already using my voice um, musically, and I just never dreamt I would ever do that. Mm-hmm. So to create a CD was just forget it. That was over the top. I was never <laughs> going to do that. <laughs> but my friend Tom kept, you know, suggesting it to me. So I was heeding that because I knew the suggestion keeps coming and he was pretty evolved himself. And I thought that's just how spirit's working, you know, mm-hmm. because I'm just not listening to that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so then I, I went on a little journey to California. When I came back, I, for some reason, I felt I needed to call Tom. I kept getting the hit, just keep call, call Tom. Mm-hmm. So I called Tom and we met and I, and I said, just talk to me about the CD thing because it keeps coming up. And he did, and just as he said it to me, he goes, I feel like this needs to be done. Mm. I felt it right in my heart. Mm. I knew at that moment, just like when I had the session with Mm. you, and I knew at that moment I needed to do sound healing sessions, I knew at that moment I had to do it. Mm. And I feel feel it in my body right now. I feel it now, too. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So I just pushed the fears aside and... Um, I took his um, direction on how to, to manifest it, you know, mm-hmm. to meditate on it and just have an outline of what I wanted to do and went into his house. His home, it was nice because it was in his home, the studio. So it, it wasn't was a too bit, intimidating. It wasn't intimidating at all. <laughs> I know how that is, that microphone in front of your face. Could yeah, be I never was never on a mic ever in my life. So <laughs> there I am singing into this mic. <laughs> <laughs> like okay <laughs> but it was a lot of fun i'm looking yeah. forward to doing another one. Oh, good yeah i think a new one's starting to brew because i'm okay feeling it coming so <laughs> so no ideas about where or when or how that's mm-hmm. going to manifest just going to wait and see how yeah. that comes up wait and see it's exciting it's very exciting it's exciting yeah so i'm just trusting i don't know what's coming exactly yeah. next yeah okay so we'll follow your journey Yes, yes. Like I said, she's vlogging on YouTube and follow her journey because it's exciting and it's fun. She's taking you all over the world. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty soon we'll be doing it together. (laughs) Will we? (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Maybe, I know, I know. We're always together no matter what, whether we're apart or not. I want to travel the world and interview all of you wonderful people, so. Yes. That'll happen. I love you. I love you too, honey. I couldn't do this journey without you. Uh, I know. We've been so Angela supportive. And I have, yes, we've been very supportive of each other. Yes. It's been a great gift. Yeah. It has very, been. Our friendship has been a very great gift. Yes. We have this wonderful photo. Maybe I'll slip it in here. Of us at Ompest. This oh, festival that we put on. Yeah. Of me it walking just shows our friendship. It does. The energy shows our friendship, doesn't it? It does. Absolutely. I'm yeah. chills, too. <laughs> Again. <laughs> So, yeah, All right, um, so I guess we'll close it out and say we love you all. We're so happy you, you joined us today. And, um, yeah, follow us and be a part of our journey and tell us what you're doing and share with us what you're doing because we love to hear that too. Yes, please do. Thank you. Jai Ma. Jai Ma. <laughs>